Kurt Voorhees here. I'm one of Camelback sponsored downhill riders. We're here at Camelback to check out some technology. I've been around the block a few times, so I know the difference between the cheap stuff and the good. Man, it's quiet in here. They must be working hard. I'll check it out. It's me. Cool. Bottom line, Camelback is the number one brand out there. Here's why. Quality, baby. Quality. And testing. Let's go check it out. I'm Jeremy, head R&D. Welcome to the Camelback Lab. All right. Basically, this whole facility, sole purpose is the test, test, test. We've got film testers, we've got reservoir testers. Usually when we see a failure, it's always in here first. So you're not gonna find anything like this anywhere else. This is pure Camelback through and through. And it kind of shows really we're committed to product durability and product safety, so. And it kind of shows really we're committed to product durability and product safety. <laughs> We got another piece of machinery. And this is a really important one. Basically all this thing does is simulate someone biting down on a bite valve. And so what these barbs do is they actually have different tooth profiles to simulate the usage, whether it's an adult using it or a kid using and it. And different amounts of pressure. Hey, different amounts of pressure, different sharpness, okay, because the material is gonna perform differently. These are heat tested as well. You know, the, the bite valves are made out of a medical grade silicone, which is just a great material. It's very inert, super durable, um, very resistant to temperature fluctuations. So you're not gonna get any variation over temperature. It's a, it's a great material, it's proprietary to us, it's a custom blend, and we exercise them to make sure that it's as good the 400th day as it is the first day, which is really important. I'm gonna take you through a little bit about how we actually make our reservoirs. The method of joining these two pieces of film together to give you that durable perimeter weld around the outside is called radio frequency welding. What we want in a reservoir is we want a good hard bond on the inside without affecting the physical characteristics of the film on the outside. But what it ends up giving you has got a section one of the reservoirs is obviously the urethane itself is super, super strong. But usually when you get a failure in a reservoir, it's gonna happen at the seam. But when you do an RF weld, can't pull it apart. something clear like a sandwich bag. You know, you get seam strengths where you heat seal it, it just pulls right apart. But it's very typical of something like a polyethylene reservoir where you just get poor durability performance. <laughs> it's good for peanut butter and jelly, but not good for That's your water. exactly right. 